Shalom, this is your ark. Y'all is magnified. Coming back with another informative video. I titled this video, No More Child Support, Income Withholding Order Terminated, and Driver's License Reinstated. But before I tackle this subject, as always, I must state for the record. I'm not a lawyer. I do not practice law, and I do not pretend to. All my videos are for informational and educational purposes only. They're all facts and all truth. Nothing more, nothing less. So with that being said, let's get to it. Okay, before I tackle this subject, I'd like to dedicate this video to my pops, man. You know, I lost my father over the weekend, guys. So it's been hard on me, okay? So everybody I'm working with, if I haven't gave you all the quick response or been reaching back out to you all, that's for the reason, okay? That's the reason why. You know, uh, I need prayers from you all for, you know, for me and my family to keep us strong through these trying times, okay? So, again, I dedicate this video and this testimony to my pops, man. He was my biggest supporter when dealing with this child support stuff. And, you know, he would be the guy I would go to, you know, when I'm going through it myself. And when I was fighting my situation, he was there to support me, you know, and kept me strong in my fight as well. You know, he actually went to court with me and everything while I was dealing with this situation. You know, he was my biggest supporter, you know. Even when I won and started making my videos, he was my biggest supporter, okay. So, again, this video is for my pops, man. Uh, so, now, let's go over these documents right here. Like I tell you all, this is the year of testimony, all right. Let's keep it going. Let's keep everything moving forward, okay. So, now, as you all can see, like I tell you over and over and over again, if they're not showing evidence, if they're not showing paperwork, if they're not showing documentation of the things that they are telling you on YouTube, then don't believe it. Okay? Anybody can show emails saying how good their paperwork is. You know, or saying people saying how good their paperwork is, but they're not showing results. Anybody can have somebody come on their channel and have a conversation and explain what happened and how it happened without any evidence to support their claim. Okay, if I have someone go to court and if I say somebody won something, I'm going to show their documentation. If someone get off a of child support, get their income withholding order and everything terminated, I'm going to have that paperwork on screen. I'm just not going to have someone come on here and just talk to you guys and make you all believe something that, is, that has not happened. Okay, we need proof. We need to see evidence. Okay, that's for anybody that's doing this stuff, man. Everybody have to see the evidence. Okay, just don't go off of people's words, man, because anybody can tell you guys anything. You know, you want to see this evidence, want to see this proof. Okay, I'm the only one stressing this issue that you must see proof that it really works. Nobody else stressing this issue that proof, you must show proof. Only me. Like I tell y'all in my video, all facts, all truth, all proof. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay, like I stated, all glory and honor to the Most High Yah who, who allowed me to open my eyes to see this truth. You know, and I try to share this truth with you all. Okay? So now let's continue to go over these documents and get understanding of what has taken place in my art case before he come on here and give, and give his testimony. Okay? So now as you all can see, this is notice of withdrawal of certificate of non-compliance. Okay? Okay, guys, I'm back. So let's continue on. Like I was stating before, you know, we want to see that truth. Okay? But let's continue on with the documentation. Uh, as you all can see, this is from Iowa Department of Human Services, okay? As you can see, it says notice of withdrawal of certificate of non-compliance, okay? So, they are withdrawing the certificate of non-compliance. But let's continue. This order, I mean, this notice was sent on October 2nd, 2019, this month, this year. They prepared this document uh, today, the 5th, three days ago, okay? Three days ago, guys. Okay, as you all can see, I crossed this case number out, his worker's ID number out, his child support recovery union address and everything goes so you all can see this is, you know, the truth. Okay, I crossed my ARC personal information out. I crossed his last four social security number out, okay, to keep his information private like he asked me to. But let's continue. As you all can see, it states to the IA Department of Transportation. So they sent it to the Department of Transportation because they suspended his license. For what? Non-compliance. Okay, with paying support. But let's continue. It states, this notice tells you that the certificate of non-compliance issued by Child Support Recovery Unit for the above-named pair on the 10th day of December 2014 is withdrawn as of the date on this notice. Okay? Now, as you all can see, they withdrew the notice 
or the certificate of non-compliance. Let's continue. Terminate all steps to enforce a license sanction against blank. That's my ARC name. According to our code section 252J85 and immediately reinstate, renew, or issue license and motor vehicle registration if obligor, if the obligor is otherwise in compliance with your licensing requirements. A copy of this form has been sent to my op with the, with the signature of the, uh, or the initials of the Child Support Recovery Unit agent. Okay, you, go, you all can read the bottom portion. But as you all can see, you know, I uh, crossed out all this information. So his license was reinstated. Okay, now let's go to the next document so we can see what happened. Boom, this is a ob obligor notice of termination. As you all can see, this was dated, date notice prepared, October 1st, 2019, which was four days ago from today. Case number crossed out and everything like the prior uh, uh, notice. As you all can see, same place, the Iowa Department of Human Services. Again, it says the Child Support Recovery Unit. CSRU, stop your income withholding order. Then it says the Iowa Code 252D allows CSRU to stop income withholding when the case is paid in full, which he didn't do, the order was entered in error, or CSRU no longer provides services under Iowa Law 252B. Then it says a copy of the order or notice stopping the income withholding is attached to this notice. Okay? You all can read the rest. But as you all can see, the order of with the income withholding order was terminated. Let's continue to the next notice. Boom. It states before the Bureau of Collections, Department of Human Services and and for Scott County. Who was the petitioner again? But I tell you all, you must get the petitioner, you must beat the petitioner at their own game. It states the state of Iowa, X Rail was the petitioner. My arc was the respondent. As you all can see. Termination of order for income withholding. So the income withholding order was terminated. And let's read what it says. It states, Now, on this first day of October 2019, pursuant to Section 252D, the Code of Iowa, the Child Support Recovery Unit hereby revokes and terminates its order for income withholding as entered by the Child Support Recovery Unit on the ninth day of August 2017, effective the first day of October 2019. Okay? As you all can see, more evidence to back it up. So, his income withholding order is terminated. His, his uh, um, license sanction was reinstated. Everything is good. Okay, my aunt no longer pays child support. We'll come over here and explain it as well. He will explain the situation. Like I tell y'all, man, it's a fight that, that's worth fighting, but you got to continue to fight. Okay, before my aunt came to me, they were doing him wrong, man, you know. But he reached out. We applied pressure. He got the results he desired. So without further ado, now let's hear my aunt hear his side of the story. As promised, I have my aunt on the phone. Are you ready, aunt? Oh, I'm absolutely ready. All right, the floor is yours. All right, so, um, man, um, I, I have a hard time even beginning to think of where to say a start on this, but uh, I have to, uh, first praise God, because, um, you know, this, this thing with uh, child support is, uh, I, I consider it uh, uh, oppressive and even demonic, but... Uh, it's it's crazy because of uh, the oppression of what that is. But uh, the great thing about that is you can get free of that. Um, and so um, I, I just I just kind of want to uh, first give thanks to God because uh, you know there's victory and, and you just kind of have to go out there and look for it. My uh, victory was in uh, contracting with Brother Terry, and uh, uh, you know we ended up with. Uh, going through a little bit of, you know, dealing with child support and uh, sending the information in uh, and them kind of halfway responding to it, hoping that uh, you walk away from it. But uh, it's it's kind of like, oh, yeah, uh, got up this morning and uh, seen those notices, seen these uh, letters sitting on the couch, and I'm like, what is this? 
and uh, open it up like, oh, yeah, here we go. So it's a done deal. Talking, talking about uh, somebody being uh, free of the, the burden of child support. Um, that is crazy, but it's a great feeling. Just kind of still trying to process that uh, because the the thing is, is, is uh, as I was telling Brother Terry a little earlier, um, I've been under the thumb of this since I can basically earn a dollar. And uh, uh, our, uh, the kid that uh, is in question with this, <clears throat> excuse me, is, is uh, now, you know, 33 years old. So um, it's, it's good to be from under that thumb, just, you know, hey, listen, we're going to make your life miserable. And it's not to it's not to say that you should not support your kids. I would never want to give that uh, never want to give that uh, thought. But uh, um, essentially, you you need to be able to handle that stuff like a man, and and just you know whatever you can, even if you're not um, even if you're not able to do a whole lot, do something for your kids uh, because your kids uh, will be a blessing to you <clears throat> as they go older grow older so you definitely want to support your kids make sure that uh, you're being a uh, strong tower in their lives because you know as time goes on you'll understand you know there'll be a value uh, to you as you are to them and it'll be a blessing to you so um, essentially the, the, the gambit under uh, what child support does to people when when guys um, just talking about this when guys commit suicide because they don't know how to handle that uh, that's that's the oppressive demonic part of that and so like I said hey you should take care of your kids do that but uh, child support is is you know it, it just pushes men away from um wanting to even be with their kids because now um, the thumb is on them and the separation is is put there um, and, and it's a fortunate thing. So yeah, take care of your kids, but uh, this, this oppressive system is not, not the way to do it. Um, you know, and, and uh, I have not had a driver's license for uh, what they three, almost better four years. And um, that part is crazy because you still have to do something. Uh, you still have to. You still have to get to places. You still have to. You have to earn an income, and that just feeds into the oppression of what the system is. Um, because it, it's counterproductive. Yeah, you. You know, they're saying you owe money, but you know now you really are not going to be able to do that. Um, you know, you lose the ability to have uh, uh, tax for your vehicles, passport, all the stuff goes on in the name of collecting money for your kids. Uh, and that is just crazy that it's like that. Uh, and then, you know, my wife, she's also going to chime in here uh, shortly. But, uh, you know, she has that fear of, hey, if my husband gets pulled over, uh, what's that going to look like? And, uh, you know, there's, there was a point in time where, and it could still be the case, but, uh, where child support would go after your spouse's income too. And, you know, now she's worried about that as well. It's like, Hey, what's, um, you know, they could come after my uh, income as well. And, uh, it was a very valid concern because, um, it's not like I've never, we've never heard of that. It does happen. So, um, it was just, it was just, uh, it was a great feeling to, to get that, open it up and be like, all right, um, uh, this is, this is done. And, uh, it was money well spent. Um, you know, that, that gift that, uh, I passed to this brother, uh, was well spent because, um, otherwise I would still be cruising around, uh, and it, you know, I don't, uh, I don't drive breakfast any, anyway, so it wasn't like I had to change anything, but you still are super cognitive of what's going on around you because 
uh, at any moment if you get pulled over, um, you know, that ends up being something totally different in your life. It, it just instantly changes uh, your life at that point. And so you just are like, I, I don't want to go through that. Uh, and you're looking in the mirror, and uh, there's times you're thinking uh, officers are following you, and all that crazy stuff is going on just for a perceived debt. And uh, that that's oppression. That's every day living with oppression. And uh, so you're talking about a brother that is just uh, incredibly happy that, uh, that, that we've gotten to this place that it's done. And, uh, you know, I kind of want to let my wife say a couple words about uh, that because sometimes it's important to hear the spouse's side of that. And uh, so I kind of want to pass it over to her so she can just kind of hear um, her thoughts and then uh, we'll continue on with it. Okay. Hello. Hey, how you doing today? With all... Very good, thank you. Very <laughs> well. Um, extremely blessed, and I thank you kindly. This has been years and years of frustration. I've watched it on my husband. I've read about it myself. But he really put down every little bit of everything in what he said as far as all the worries, all the frustration, everything, every bit of it, he said it. So with that, I can hand you that to him because he really placed it all out there. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I, I do thank you. Okay, you're welcome. All right, my brother. So um, I kind of gave a little bit of... Uh, 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 full story for that, but uh, uh, you know we can kind of talk at the as uh, as you uh, like to lay it out. Okay, so let's talk about now the other letter that you received after the after the driving license, the order, the notice of termination, the obligor notice notice of uh, termination. Okay, you want to cover that? Yeah, yeah. What do you think about that when you received that? How did you feel? Man. Um, First, the, the driver's license thing was was uh, incredible because that's the first thing I opened. That's like, that's like, yeah, but then I opened that second one because, as you know, we were fighting this on two levels. I mean, it wasn't one form of information we sent out. Well, it was in the beginning. It was one form, but I was like, listen, bro, uh, I'd like to get this driver's license thing straightened out, too. Right. And I uh, was like, all right, well, send me that information. And I sent that to you. You sent me a reply back. And then all, all of a sudden, there's two forms of information. So, um, you know, I end up getting that driver's license thing open first. But I'm going to uh, now go to the, the the question that you asked, and uh, to open that up, <laughs> <laughs> man, <laughs> that oh well, yeah, that was the first one was a high to go from a high to another high is like <laughs> wait. <laughs> there was, was too much in one day, huh? <laughs> oh man! <laughs> to go to another high, it's like wait. Uh, I know, as I was saying, I was telling you, like, uh, are we in Kansas? <laughs> this is like, <laughs> said, like man, this is. He said, "Welcome huh? back." He said, he said, "Welcome back, Dorothy." <laughs> oh man! <laughs> I'm clicking heels and clicking something else, and you know, I'm just, yeah, man. It's like. Open that up. It's like, uh, man, this is, this is actually it. <laughs> and uh, I was like, I can't wait to call this brother and tell him this. <laughs> uh, and and as I told you, like, you know what, brother, listen, if uh, we get this squared away, I'm definitely going to give a testimony because, um, you know, brothers and sisters just need to hear this because, yeah, it is life changing. Um, to, to be from under that thumb uh, is is very important. So to see that, uh, man, I was like, I'm going to have to celebrate. Uh, you know, and I'm always cautious and careful about what I say, simply because I want people to get the right message. Um, you know, and so, you know, out of that, I just kind of, you know, revert back to, yeah, take care of your kids. Uh, that's very important. But uh, to be, to look at that notice, man, I'm like, I'm trying to figure out how to celebrate. Uh, 
Well, well, the first thing you do is take your wife out, you know, and y'all celebrate together. Yeah, yeah. Um, I uh, I was blessed to be married to a beautiful spouse that uh, has a good heart. And, uh, uh, you know, I make sure that uh, I try to treat her well. Um, and that's, you know, that's above and beyond this conversation of child support. Um, you know, but, uh, you know, the great thing about uh, having knowledge in, in, uh, in, in Christ and, and living and understanding what men, real men, uh, should be and how that should look. And, uh, you know, that, that's what God gives you. And uh, so uh, he also gave me a great wife. And I, I so appreciate uh, her and everything she does. And, uh, you know, so, yeah, man, this is, when I opened that up, this this uh, second one, and uh, it said, uh, uh, obligor, and they try, to, they try to make sure that even when they're going out and the ship is going down, they try to make sure you know you're still an obligor. Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> notice the <of> termination. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. They still, like you said, man, they never let up on them. No matter if they know they, they know the fight is over, they know they lost, but they still try to hold on to the last little bit of hope they have, huh? <laughs> oh, absolutely, man. It's like, uh, I just want you to know I'm dying, but you're still an obligor. <laughs> <laughs> See how they like the Wicked Witch, man? They was melting, like, you know what I mean? You know, yeah, that's how I go, man. Another thing, another thing. They said you was on here since the ninth, the ninth of August, two thousand seven. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, it. and uh, realistically, that's when um. That's when uh, Iowa took it over. Yeah, um, you know, and it, you know, it's it's a it's a by state thing. So uh, that's when Iowa picked it up. But uh, originally, you know, this has been um, years before that. Uh, you know, this this one kid was born in in '86. Uh, so you know, shortly after that is when it's all kicked in. So this has been a long time. Since 1986, man. Yeah, that's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's been a real long time. <laughs> the reality kicked in, huh? Yeah, that, yeah. That's been a real long time. Yeah, because I remember, I, I, I remember you telling me that. I'm like, oh man, we about, we about, we about to have fun with them when you know when, when you telling me how old your, how old your children was and stuff like that, and they still trying to have you pay support, you know. Yeah, we're gonna, have, we're gonna have fun with them. Don't worry about that. Uh, I was like, uh, I was like, man, it's crazy because uh, that kid is now a police officer, and, and it's like uh, you, you're concerned about being pulled over by police officers. You're not, you're not uh, bashing police officers. I, you know, I respect what they do uh, as long as they do it, you know, decently. And uh, you know, uh, our son and I, we talk about some of these things all the time. But, uh, man, yeah, uh, you know, I have kids and, and, and grandkids, and, uh, you know, our grandkids are in, in high school. <laughs> so that lets, you, that lets you know how long this has been. <laughs> yeah, that, that's crazy, man. That's that's crazy. Because I remember when you called me, like, yeah. man, they just not letting up. Like, you was telling me they was on you. Like, <laughs> these people are on me. Like, I got, I got to get them off me. I said, All right, don't worry, bruv, I got you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh man, it's it's it's, it's a joke about it now because you know you can look back and be like, oh my goodness. Um, you know, with me explaining that level of oppression, that's like you know uh, Nelson Mandela being in prison for all those years and then coming out and uh, you know being a free man. I I you know I can't say to his level. I understand that. But I do understand it to a degree, right. and and when you, when you're under a thumb like that for that long, um, you don't know where the laugh, cry, you know, do slips, cartwheels, uh, you know, whatever. You you just kind of trying to still process what that is, right, right. And so, so uh, 
yeah, that when I opened that second one, man, I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were surprised. Huh? <laughs> I already know. I already know how you feel, brother. I know, cause when I, cause when I went through it, you know, and I got the same results you received, you know, my eyes was open from then. I said, man, I'll never close my eyes again. So I know how you feel. You know, it's like the best, one of the best things that can ever happen to you. You know, when going through this situation. Yeah, absolutely. So it's like the weekend now, and uh, you know this, this, uh, you know this little driver's license thing. The one I first opened. Um, uh, it's like uh, you can. Uh, I'm just going to touch at this real quick, but uh, you know it says uh, it's terminated immediately, and you can immediately reinstate and renew uh, uh, and issue a uh, license. And I'm like, dang, it just happens to be the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I, I told my wife. I mean, if you I get, told my wife. <laughs> you, you, uh, uh, oh, what? Some uh, motor vehicle uh, associations are still open around this time, so you you may you may can catch them. You never know. <laughs> oh man, you, you that's even better. I'm like, dang, I didn't think about that. I was just thinking Monday to Friday, but uh, I was like, this piece of paper is riding with me. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep for the piece. Yep, make sure you buckle it up in the passenger seat. You know what I mean? <laughs> free to go. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, uh, yeah, man. I, you know, your mind just think about uh, 500 different things at once. Just like, oh, my goodness, process, man. Kick, mind kick in, but, uh, yeah, man, it's, it's, it's good to have that, have that out of the way. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, you have everything. You got your, you got your income withholding order stop. No more child support. License reinstated. So, hey, um, I, I can actually say my job here is done. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> my brother, I, I, you know what? I, I know I said this a couple times over. So, but uh, I just, I love the way your mind ticks, and uh, the way that you're able to. Um, and see, I think in my mind, I could kind of do this. But I have so many things going on, including survival and uh, driving, you know, like I'm in a progressive commercial. Um, <laughs> like, uh, don't mess with my discount. <laughs> exactly. Right? That, exactly. Yeah, you, you are so busy trying to uh, survive and do, you know, with the system in the world and all that. You're so busy trying to do that. You know, me, I'm like, I'm, I'm smart if I, if I tried to, I probably could kind of how we figure this out but uh, I you know I appreciate your mind how your mind ticks and I, I know you know I, I know the, the backstory for you and how you know you put your money in to have somebody else help you and then that didn't that didn't pan out and, and I could just see how your mind said all right so I gonna figure this out and you went and did it yep. and uh, got your information and from whatever source you got that from um, your mind is able to put this stuff together the way it is, uh, man, I, I'm like, that is very cool. Just um, your ability to figure out what needs to go and why. And when you look at the paperwork, I read that stuff and it makes total sense, but it makes total sense in part because uh, you, you kind of have to listen to videos and, and, and be aware of things. If you just, just going through your normal life and just, not paying attention, some of that stuff you totally wouldn't understand because you wouldn't understand why it's in there. Um, and, and so, you know, when I look at, you know, the information that you sent that we forwarded to them, and I read through that, I was like, I, was like, I, I totally get that. I understand what it's saying and why it says that. And uh, it, 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 it's not anything that you could just brush off and be like, yeah, this, this doesn't mean anything. Uh, and I'm sure they were trying to process how to deal with that. So, you know, every time that uh, they send a, a reply back, it was like, we discussed this with our attorneys. 
and they said to do this. And we discussed this with our attorneys, and they said to do this. And uh, there was just their way of brushing off actually dealing with you because of, of the fact that you know, they got some information in front of them. They can't just brush that off. Right. Uh, so I'm like, hey, bro, man, I appreciate how your mind works and that you're able to see this for what it is in, in the scope of being able to put this information together and uh, it actually does what it's supposed to do. Um, and, and, and hopefully that's a, um, that's a, um, a inspiration for other brothers to, and sisters too, that are going through this oppression uh, to say, hey, listen, there's a way to get past this stuff <clears throat> and uh you know maybe there's other resources out there available but at least i know your information works and um it, i'm looking at the results we, my wife is sitting here we're both looking at the results and uh like i said you don't know whether to cry or you know laugh like but it's it's right here and uh so i'm giving it back to you but i you know uh yeah, when I opened that letter, uh, the second letter, I was like, oh, yeah, it's, it's a good deal. So go ahead. I'll give it back to you, bro. Okay. Well, I like to, you know, as always, give all glory and honor to the Most High Yah through through him. You know, uh -huh. We can do all things through him, you know. But first we must believe that, we, that it can be done, you know. So that's all I have to say, you know. My, my brother, y'all, you know, everybody heard it from you. You know, you spoke the truth. You spoke how you felt. And uh, like I said, if you all need my help, hit me up in my email at yahismagnified at gmail.com. You know, if you're serious and you really want to fight, like I tell everyone, you know, yeah. it's, it's not an easy fight, but it's a fight worth fighting, especially when you get the results that you desire, like my brother right here. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, one quick thing I want to say before we go, um, you know, we missed each other um, like a few days back. And uh, I sent you a text, and then uh, you said, well, contact me if uh, you don't hear from me in four hours. And life gets, life catches you. And so, um, you know, about four days went by. I was like, hey, let's, let's connect. And then you called me, but I was busy. Right. And, uh, <laughs> and so uh, I was like, uh, I need to give this brother a call back because I was assuming – that uh, this is going to go to the next step, which is going to court. Because as you said, hey, listen, uh, ain't, nothing else, ain't nothing left to do but to go to court. And uh, I'm like, okay, I, you know, I get that. You don't really want to go to court, but uh, if you have to, then, yeah, I guess you do what you got to do. But uh, this is like, it doesn't have to do any of that. So I'm like, yeah, um, I appreciate not having to have to go to that next step of, going to court because, uh, yeah, I just, I just, I just stood as a man doing that as well. Right. But uh, it's, it's so much more better that you don't have to. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's one, that's, that's one less fight. I mean, that's one less step in the fight that you will have to do. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. All right, so I ain't going to hold you no longer, my brother. I know you got to get back to your wife, you know, get the celebration going. <laughs> All right. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, man, I, I can't wait to see that testimony out there. I want people to be blessed by it. I praise God in all things, and uh, I think I think uh, I think the Lord for redemption through Christ. But I tell you what, um, you know these these victories uh, on this side is uh, well worth it. I have to chime in again real quick. You said that your job here is done, and I've got to tell you, job well done. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you, family. <laughs> well, amen. Amen. That's, that's all good. Um, so, man, listen, I'm just waiting to uh, I'm waiting to see that testimony, and I'm going to be point, pointing people to it like, hey, listen, and pointing people to you too, man, because, um, you know, I want them to have remedy too. And, um, you know, like I said, when you see, you know, people out there taking their lives for this stuff, uh, then you know it's oppression. And, um, you know, that's not, that's not a good place for, for mankind to be. Right. Correct. That's wickedness. That's just complete wickedness. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. So, like I 
that's all I'm going to do for today. With that being 